what you cooking today, Miss Mara? I said, well, it's, I divided the videos up. I'm still still the same day where I did the smothered chicken and the string beans and petite potatoes. I'm going to do the vegan nut biscottis right now. So, I'm cooking everything today. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute over the counter. One of my favorite things to make are biscottis. I don't know why my husband has such a hard time remembering the name, but when he's he's sharing with the coworker, he goes, "This is a, um, eh, eh. I don't know why biscotti is a hard word for him." I said, "Just tell him it's pecan sandies." Cause his favorite cookie growing up were the pecan sandies, but uh, these don't have to necessarily be made with pecans. I've made uh, several different versions. I've already shared. I've made the uh, they're all vegan. But some of them have macadamia nuts, some of them are walnuts, some of them are almonds. And so when, you, when you're doing different ones, you've got a little bit left in the bag here. And I just put a Ziploc bag, put it in the refrigerator, you got a little bit of that nut left. So I've got an assortment of nuts today. I've got macadamia nuts, walnuts, pecans, and almonds. So I'm just calling it vegan nut biscotti. In this bowl here are our wet ingredients, we have our dry ingredients, and then we have our little topping. Well, you have nuts, I just showed you that. But once you get it all rolled out and shaped into the, oh, the classic mound that's got to be for the first bake, you're going to put your little, it's coarse sugar and raw sugar and sea salt. Make sure it's going to go on top of it before you bake it. So let's, we're just going to start adding our, our dry ingredients. So we get it to make a dough. This is going to take a while, so we'll save time on, on the length of the video. Go get yourself another cup of coffee for the day. I'll see you in a minute. All the ingredients and proportions will be listed down in the description. This is the texture of your dough. You don't want it too dry or none of your nuts. And all your nuts will fall out when you start shaping it and molding it. So we're going to add the nuts to it. Then we're going to shape it into the mounds. Put it on the parchment paper lined baking sheets. Sprinkle the cinnamon sugar. I mean, not cinnamon sugar sugar salt mixture on top and we'll put them in the oven 340 degrees to bake 30 minutes to dry out and then we'll let them cool they have to cool really well and you have to have a really nice sharp knife to cut them with so they don't crumble the key to biscotti is the cooling time between bake one and bake two so we're gonna mix the nuts in and we'll be right back all right Whew. it's a workout make my loaves of it and get it on my parchment line baking sheet and top it off with the salt sugar mixture. Okay, I got the first two on the baking sheet. Put a topping on it. I don't want it to all you know, fall right off. I'm going to kind of pat it in a little bit. Put these in the oven to bake. I'll make the other two loaves. We'll be back. First batch is baking. Second batch is waiting to go in. Look how beautiful they look. All right, pick back up. All right, let's take the first batch out. I hear you beeping. I hear you. Go ahead and pull. Put the next batch in. cool and we'll slice it into the biscotti shape and we'll do the second bake on them. Well, then that, they'll come out first. <laughs> oh, that's what we should do. Okay, now they've only had the first bake, but let's show you how beautiful they look. Have to go back in for their second bake so you can get that crunchy biscotti that's hard enough for you to dip in your hot tea, wine, milk, whatever. I don't dip mine. I just eat them just like this. Just like they are. That's the first bake. But they got to go back in and bake again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want the cutting. Okay. 
beautiful. These have had the first bake. They've cooled. They've been sliced. I've got about 10 more minutes on the second two loaves that are still on their first bake. When they come out, I'll let them cool and we'll slice them. But when the oven drops back down to temperature, because I've got to lower the oven to 300 degrees for the second bake, these will bake for another 20 minutes. In the second tray, when they've been cooled and they've been sliced, these come out the oven, they'll go in and they'll bake another 20 minutes. So that's another almost like hour worth of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll stop the video here. I'll let the thumbnail be the biscottis in all their glory. <laughs> if I can keep from, that's probably Bob coming home. If I can keep him from eating all of them before I take a picture. God bless, thanks for watching. The entire recipe will be listed in the description on Miss Martha loves to cook and I sure do love to cook biscotti. Thanks for watching.